Go on. How many God do you have? One. One. Yeah. Who? The, 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 the Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah. 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 The Father. Three. That's Yahweh. Yeah. And the Son. Is the man Yahweh. who believes so God came from a private no, part one. of a woman. One. As you expect. Hey, you expect, you no, that's expect one. common sense? Yeah. So, so, let, so, so let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. So you start talking to him. You lost your right to continue the conversation. He was talking to me, so I'm now talking to him. So let me, let me, let me believe. No, no, no. I'm going to answer. Do you want an answer to your question? He believed. Do you want me, do you want me to answer your question? So come and stand this side. Come and stand this side. Well, I can't because he's shouting. He believed God. He believed God. He's shouting. So I'm going to answer your question. If you don't want to listen, that's up to you. So the answer to the brother's question is that God is one in essence. And that essence is shared completely and utterly and absolutely identically by the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And they are three in persons. They're not one in the same way or three in the same way. Now, how would you answer my reply to your question? The Bible is the only book. How, how would you answer the reply babies? to my question? Babies. Wait, what did I say? Is you God person? Well, no, no, no. I replied to your question. What is your reply to my reply? No, you weren't listening, were you? And shall I tell you why you weren't listening? Because when I invited you to be a gentleman, stand over here and have a conversation, you wanted to stand here and listen to him. So I'll try again. I'll try again. So stand here, stand here, and let's have a conversation. So, reply to my answer. Reply to my answer. What was my answer? Tell what's me, wrong with Allah having a shin? What's wrong? You Wait, tell me. What's are you going to are you going to reply to my answer? You actually bothered to ask me a question, and you didn't bother to listen to the answer. And that, unfortunately, is what happens in the park. They ask questions and then don't listen to answers, and then they wonder why they don't understand what Christianity teaches. He did. He did. He did. Right? Are you listening this? Time. Are you listening to me this time? Just speak your question. Right. So I'm trying to teach you manners because Mohammed failed. So listen to my answer. So you ask the question, you ask the question, how is God, how can God be one and three? We Christians believe that God, the thing that makes them one is their essence. The thing that makes them God is the same. They have it completely, absolutely, and they do it at all the same time. Now, the thing that makes them three... Now, do you want to stand over here again? Okay. So the thing that makes them three is the fact that they are three persons. We count the one as a what, and we count the persons as a who. Now, how would you like to reply to my answer? Because did you hear the whole of my answer? Do you know the reason why you didn't hear the whole of my answer? Is because once again you had the opportunity to stand away from the troll and you didn't take it. No, I said to you, so you what was my answer? I can, I can I, what was my answer? I, what, he, I've what given answer? to it to you twice you now. Said, you said, I gave it to you twice. You said, you said, no, you, uh, that's you not what I said. said. You weren't uh, listening. Shall we try for the third time? For me to answer your question and, right, and just shouting because everyone else is shouting and he's not listening again so i'll answer his question again so the thing that makes them one is the essence and that is the what and the thing that makes them three is the who the father son and holy spirit so that that's three times i've answered his question let's see if he actually heard this time Go on. How, what, how do you reply God, to my answer? And how, with us, how the Holy Spirit God and become Jesus. a Muslim? No, sorry. Uh, sorry, become a person. Sorry, no, 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 no. I replied to your question. What's your reply to my answer? You weren't listening, were you? Shall we try for the fourth time? Shall we go for the fourth time? You gave an answer. Right, well, so what was my answer? You gave an answer. What was my answer? They are same in a, they share the same asset. And well, what else did I say? But this is How are they three? How are they three? I was there and they the same asset. No, I didn't say that. No, you said. No, I didn't say that. Try again. 
So for the fourth time, so for the fourth time, I will answer your question. And what you need to do is you need to try to put some manners into practice and you need to listen. So this is the fourth attempt now to answer your question. And he's still talking. He's still talking. He's still not listening. I'm not going to listen to So, are you listening? I'm not going to So, God is one in his essence. The way that we count the oneness of God is in what he is. The way that he is three is in his person. That is, the way that we count his plurality is in who he is. So we're not counting the same thing twice. We're counting two different things. And that's how someone can be one and three. You counted. You said he was two. What are we counting in his oneness? Okay, one, one second. In his can God be a God by himself? What, what are we counting in his oneness? Can, can, he, can God be a God by himself? No, no, no. Did you hear my question? I, I heard that. What's the answer? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you didn't get to ask me. Uh, you ask me I don't get to ask you. Uh, you asked me already. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm waiting for an answer. No, no, no. You asked me. In what way is he one? You asked me already. Uh, it's my turn to ask. Uh, can okay, he doesn't God, want to answer my question. Can God be a God by himself? Okay. Without, I, don't think with, well without, I don't think he did well in school. Huh? Without the Holy Spirit and without okay. Jesus. So, the, the brother declined to answer my question, but because I wish to be courteous to him and polite, I will answer the question and not reply his ignorance with ignorance. So, he asked me the question, can, be God, can God be God alone? The answer is obviously yes. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. See, he's not even listening. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are unique in genius. They are, yes, we will. We will. Are unique in genius. They are unique in that there is no other that is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, the reason why you get it wrong, the reason why you get it wrong is because your Quran gets it wrong. Because you're trying to think about my beliefs through the erroneous statements of the Quran, you get it wrong. Because the Quran gets it wrong. I really did tell you. Really did. It's on camera. And these guy witnessed. The Holy Spirit is God. So I'll tell you what I believe. I believe that there is one God. Only one God. And there is no other God. And that God is one within himself, without division. That that God is Yahweh. That Yahweh is the Father. That Yahweh is the Son. That Yahweh is the Holy Spirit. That the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are not the same person. Now, there you go. They want to ask questions, but they're frightened of answers. No, it really does. It's the Quran that doesn't make sense. You get it wrong because the Quran speaks The is in the Quran. It's the is in the Quran. The is in the Quran. The is in the Quran. It's the Quran that speaks and that's why you get it wrong. How many gods does the Quran say I believe in? How many gods does the Quran say I believe in? How many gods does the Quran say I believe in? You, as a yes. Christian. Yes. How many gods does the Quran say I believe in? Three. Three. Yes. I'm a Christian. I don't believe in three gods. So the Quran got it wrong. Why is there an error in your Quran? Why is there an error in your Quran? He just said the Quran said I believe in three gods. I believe in one God. Why is the Quran wrong? Why is the Quran wrong? Why? Which? Which one? Name them. Are Which? They, I'm asking, are they no, no, huh? no, 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 I know, uh, no, study with me. no, no, huh? go on, tell me who they are, huh? tell me who they are, One of them is introduce uh, me to them, what do you mean? you're huh? lying, huh? you're lying right Why now, lie they study with me? you're lying right I'm now, lying. Uh, they believe in it. every huh? Muslim Why that I, it's always amazing how you invent a, cre no, a fictional Christian. No, 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 Shall I tell you why you're wrong? Yeah, I'm not wrong. Shall I explain I'm why you're wrong? wrong. I am going to explain wrong. I had I had I'm nice going to explain why you're wrong. Before. If uh, a Muslim said, like I'm a they Muslim, like but I don't believe uh, Muhammad is a messenger uh, of Allah, like are they a Muslim? Person. But you're not a blind person. No, you're Muhammad is the prophet of Allah. Right. Uh, so if someone said, I'm a Muslim, but doesn't believe Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, that means they're not a Muslim. Is that correct? He's not Muslim, yeah. Brilliant. 
in the same way. When you take the shahada, you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah. It means like, you believe in the God and the Prophet is a prophet God. So what I'm saying to you, bro, is that if someone says, if someone says that they believe in three gods, it is by definition, they are not a Christian. In the same way that if a Muslim ever said, I'm a Muslim, but I don't believe Muhammad is a prophet, they are not a Muslim. It's exactly the same principle. So any pun who says that I'm a Christian, who doesn't believe in three gods, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. So it, so it makes sense in your religion, but not mine. Is that correct? So, so explain to me, I'll come to you. Why I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you. Explain to, you. explain to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain to me why it doesn't work in your religion. So there you go, guys. Once again, Muslims running away from the debate and the discussion. <laughs> running. Wait. You'll wait. Once again, Muslims running away from the debate and the discussion. As we saw, when you challenge Muslims on what they believe from a place of understanding, their arguments fall to pieces. They crumble. And that's what we just saw. Christians, you've got to learn apologetics. There's nothing amazing about Islamic arguments against the Christian faith. The reason why in our culture, we Christians are losing the argument is because too many of us are ignorant of apologetics. And I showed you that when you challenge the Muslims, what do they do? They create double standards to sustain their worldview from criticism. In other words, they make one rule for their religion and another rule for yours. And you can catch them out if you understand the double standards that they're navigating the debate by. Okay.